are installing a Soshin motor on the stock Surround. You know, Soshin is the latest top thing. We're here at Joker's Garage with Hellboy. Joker man himself. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we come up with in here. It. What I couldn't do, I could do full custom harness made by him. Uh, well, we made a whole harness for it. lights headlights are off tail lights still on that's why I did it in that direction um, display if you know you know it's from the onyx it's uh, one of a kind first one with a display first bar driver with a display and it's reading look at battery percentage 61.4 volts it's almost dead Support and eco, eco works. Okay. So that's just a rough tune. Waiting for uh, AD to test his new uh, stock beast. So this is the first true ride for this bike. I did spend five minutes making sure that everything was functional and I joined it. EastCoastScooters.com on a group ride out into Jersey. We did cross the Verrazano Bridge and I did hit an all time high of 54 miles an hour on a stock battery. Um, the tune and sport and eco are all functional. Uh, shout out to Joker and Hellboy. This is proof of their amazing work. The tune and the function of the bike is absolutely incredible. Uh, but it doesn't just end here, so keep watching. This is where we're at after 25.4 miles testing on the first gun. So we did cross the Verrazano Bridge, which was the um, which killed the vast majority of the battery. I think I was at 68 percent coming off the Verrazano. So I think turbo is um, training the battery considerably faster. Um, we did another 25 miles with the with 40% of the battery from that point on. So uh, on the way home, I'm probably going to try to keep the eco all the way and then test the mileage. I was forced to stay in sport mode for a large part of this ride. Uh, as you can see by my battery percentage in the clip before this, it did drain it considerably, so full send on this build is not ideal. I would highly recommend hypermiling as you will absolutely get the best performance and distance and range out of this uh, stock battery as you possibly can with this uh, tune. 
So we are at 18% in this clip and I am charging at an EV station. Um, it, I am not using the stock um, charger because the stock charger is not 220 compatible. Um, I am using a tunable um, GTK uh, charger, which I will be doing a video on. Now here's a look inside the Far Driver software on my iPhone. This is uh, Eco Mode. The next clip will be Sport Mode. Um, this is just showing how the software tracks the performance of the bike, RPMs, the motor temperature, battery capacity, all of this. So we're finally done charging at the EV station. It's time to head home. I'm trying to make it home on a single charge. Unfortunately, I will disclose that I forgot to track uh, to, to pause the GPS and we took the ferry home, which would be the Staten Island Ferry. So I can't claim this is the total max out of uh, mileage that I can get on this build. My final thoughts are that I need to down tune sport mode just a tad and get it down to maybe a max of 50 to 51 miles per hour. I won't be bypassing my battery just for safety and personal reasons, but I think if you want to remain at a 60 volt build, uh, either of these components would be a humongous upgrade. They're not pocket killers, they're absolutely doable and the performance upgrades are significant.